Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Magnum Videos. A while back I did a first impressions video on this Ego mower. I've mowed with it uh, for the last, I think about six weeks now. Probably mowed seven or eight times. And I'm going to do an update on it and tell you about a dirty little secret. So let me finish this up and I'll be back with you in just a minute. back in the garage now it's kind of chilly out there today but I wanted to give you a more in-depth review of the ego and what I think about it after using it for about six weeks so first of all first of all I like it uh, it's I think it's going to be the perfect lawnmower for me and uh, the reason I say that is because this mower is uh, ideal for someone with a property size of about a quarter to a third of an acre. If you've got a half acre or more, you might want to look at a rider. Um, but for, for my lot, which is about a quarter acre, this works great. It's extremely lightweight, much lighter than a, a metal deck uh, lawnmower. This has a plastic deck and uh, that makes it light, easily maneuverable. And if you do have a little bit of a, a hill, it does have a self-propelled feature, so it will help you get up and down, up that hill uh, if, you need, if you need to use it. It does drain the battery a little bit more by using that, but all in all, uh, it's a very handy feature to have. And speaking of the battery, this, uh, let me show you. Hold on a second. This battery is about five or six pounds. It's heavy, and that adds to the weight of the lawnmower, but it doesn't make it excessive. Um, in a, a quarter of an acre to mow with this lawnmower, it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour uh, and even at that length of time I still have about 40 percent charge left in the battery when I'm done. If you should expend all of the power in the battery it will recharge in about 30 minutes so it's very quick. Uh, I was going to buy an extra battery so I would have a spare but the battery runs about four hundred dollars so i decided i will just use one battery and just make it work um, the wheel adjustment most lawnmowers have you have to adjust all four wheels for the height adjustment this one has one lever it adjusts all four wheels at the same time which uh, i feel is very handy this little dial right here that's your speed control it uh, for your self propel uh, feature you can crank it up or crank it down depending on how fast you walk and uh, it's very pleasant very easy to use and uh, you can get it to just the right speed for your pace um, the build quality seems very good uh, the mowing uh, level is pretty consistent. I don't find any high spots or any low spots where it's varied in the height of the, the blade cut. So I like it. I, th I think it's uh, I think it's going to work out good for me. It does have LED headlights in case you want to mow at night. And uh, <clears throat> now there is a dirty little secret uh, associated with this lawnmower. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the only thing I'm not crazy about. And let me show you what I mean. Hold on. Stay right there. 
let me pan around here. As you can see, perhaps, the lawnmower is very dirty. You see the dirt on there? My goodness. Now, with a typical lawnmower, that wouldn't be a problem because you could just hose it off. But with an electric lawnmower, they do not recommend hosing it off. So, we're going to uh, do a little cleaning on this right now and let me get the products that I'm going to use on it. I have to go over to the automotive section, so wait right there. Now, you could use a, a bucket with some soapy water in it if you wanted to and wipe it off that way, but I'm not going to go to the trouble to get a soapy bucket of water. So I'm going to use my uh, Meguiar's Quick Detailer. This is uh, another product that I use uh, quite a bit. I love the Meguiar's products. And we're just going to... I'm just going to spray that on there, wipe it down, and it should clean it up quite nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this, and uh, I'll be back in just a minute and show you how it came out. All right, that took about four or five minutes. It didn't. Uh, didn't require a lot of uh, elbow grease or anything. I just kind of wiped it down. If you've got an air compressor, you could probably uh, just blow it off a little bit, get rid of the dust. This is a real dry dust that I had on there. It's construction dust from uh, all of the houses that are being built around here. So anyway, it looks pretty much like new now at this point. And uh, I think that's... Uh, that's all you need to do to keep it in shape. Um, don't have to change the oil, don't have to go buy gasoline. Uh, just put the battery on the charger when you're uh, ready to go, when it runs out of juice, and you'll be ready to go next time. So let me uh, get this rearranged a minute here, and I got some final words for you, so stay right there. All right, that's, uh, that's my review of this. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is not really a review of all the features uh, and all that. There are plenty of videos online for that. This is just my personal opinion after using it for six weeks or so. And uh, just to let you know what I think of it. Actually, I think if you're looking for an electric lawnmower, uh, where you don't have to buy gas, don't have to change oil, and all of that stuff, uh, I think this is a good choice. There are a couple of others. There's a Greenworks, there's a, a, a Toro. Um, but for what I needed, this fits the bill. And I'm, I'm very happy with it so far. So if you've got any questions or any comments, leave them down below and let me know what uh, you'd like to know or what you think of it. And uh, until I speak with you again, even after that, you stay focused.